one of the benefits of the plastic shoes is they're light, they're very flexible. Now I've got this fella here shot up and ready to put a shoe on. Because I don't need an anvil or a hammer, all I've got to do is simply work the shoe out to the distance it's needed by pulling it out or in, screwing the face that I need and then moving the shoe to the respective place and that's what I'm about to do. I'll do the inside of the shoe first and then I'll move the outside to the position required. Okay, let's get ready. The great thing about this process is you notice that the holes are round. You don't use conventional nailing. The idea is that we use screws, self-tapping screws, special ones that are made. And it's just a matter of finding your position. The greatest benefit of this is If your horse is quiet, position you should chew in the next spot. Continue to drill. Shoes tension with an old pair of side cutters or pincers. Simply cut the screw off like so. Never thought I'd find a use for these old pincers, but they're good for this. The reason I use soft screws makes it a lot easier to cut. Fold back the cut areas. Doesn't matter if you hit the screws with the file, they're soft. You don't have to worry about the steel shoe wrecking your file, you can even it all up and you're finished. All you need is two more screws in this. Now, if you don't have a cordless drill, what you can use, and I'll show you here. Or maybe you've got a young horse that's a, not quite that quiet. Screw into place. Once it starts to bite. As you can see the cord of the drill makes it a lot quicker. Once you've got your spot, just continue to screw this in. Don't have to worry about the, like the nail changing heads or moving out. If you're out riding and you want to put a shoe back on the horse, all you need is a few screws and a screwdriver or you Leatherman. Done.